Hello and blessings beautiful souls, Sarava and I share to you. So today is another entertaining school holiday day. So the kids are out and about doing a few little chores and activities. So you're going to hear them in the background chatting away and doing their thing. And I am about to embark on a little something magical. So today's adventure or today's task more to the point is me feeding a spell that I created during the full moon so uh, just thought I'd take you along with me to show you what I do for this particular instance every spell that I create and do requires a different approach when it comes to feeding a spell and what it means to feed a spell is to continue that spell's power and intention to feed the energy so it continues on, it flows forward, it increases, you know, and that is really important uh, to some particular spells. Not every spell requires that kind of thing, but the spell that I've got working right now does. So I left my handbag in the car yesterday and I just wanted to pull a card for today, which is what I'm going to do right now. So I take my love and hide it away from those who steal till I find my way. How will I call? How will I call? I have some beautiful garden flowers working with me on this particular magical working and so I've come down to refresh my flowers the ones that are up there are starting to you know do their thing wear away and uh, it's time to bring some new ones into the equation so that's what I'm here to do okay so an important aspect of this particular weaving that I am currently in tune with and feeding at this very moment are flowers botanicals essentially now the flowers that I reached for for this particular weaving came from my very own garden and I wanted to share with you a little tip because when I first moved down here to a temperate climate from a tropical climate I had to get to know my biosphere all over again which was a bit of a challenge I must admit yes certain flowers were definitely recognizable to me certain trees were recognizable to me but for the most part it was getting to know an entirely different gene of plant because I'd never had the opportunity to interact with these plants before now I had flowers growing here on the property thanks to my uncle who planted a bunch of them but I had no idea what they were and then I got a little tip from my friend Emma who is in the coven and also an Australian witch here and she told me about the picture this app and so basically the picture this app is a little app that I use to point at a particular plant or flower take a photo it runs it through its extensive database and it returns a number of results and then you can scour through the photos to see which one more closely resembles the plant or botanical that you are looking at and so that is what I have been using and that is how I learned to identify these beautiful ones here it was a bit confusing I didn't know if they were carnations or dahlias <laughs> so I needed the app So I have a finite amount of time in which to do this. So I'm going to do this nice and quick because the kids are, they're running amok down there and my hubby isn't feeling well today. So I need to keep eyes on the prize, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to be changing out the dahlias that are already here, which are these ones that are starting to wither. And I'm going to place them out into the garden once more so that they can return uh, to the earth and then I'm going to refresh with new flowers and a top up of a special drink and then do some intention setting and that kind of business so that's exactly how I like to roll yay
there we have it. I have completely refreshed this working. I'm feeling pretty good about it. And I can get on with my day now as a result of that. So I'm just going to allow the candle to burn for a little bit of time while I dispose of the old flowers in a kind and gentle way. And then I'm, yeah, I'm ready to go. So I just wanted to share that with you today. Uh, the feeding of a spell, the feeding of a working is not often talked about, and yet it is a crucial part of some, not all, but some magical workings, especially workings that you are going to attend to over time. So this is a long weaving and as such, it requires a good amount of energy and I believe that what you put into a manifestation, a spell, a weaving, a working, whatever it is that you would like to call it, what you put in, you will get out. And so tending to your magical weavings is absolutely crucial, particularly if they are going to be in place for a period of time. Now, there are times where just doing a really quick uh, fire spell will work a treat. And then there are times where your situation demands more. In my case, the situation demands more. And as such, I listen to my spirits. I listen to my guides and I go about my magical working in a way that pleases not just myself, but the spirits that guide me. So there you have it. With all of that said, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm wishing you so much love, luck, peace, and joy. Have an amazing day. If you found this video informative, if you enjoyed its content, then please do give this one a thumbs up and do share it around if you feel the need to and called to do so. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you as part of this beautiful budding community. Much love to you and many blessings. Comment below on any questions that you might have pertaining to what it is that I've discussed today in this video. And I thought that I would also let you know that I'm going to be doing a Q&A very, very soon. So if you have had burning questions throughout the 67th vlogs <laughs> that I have done, then that would be a time to consider stepping forth and asking. I'm going to try and choose a really friendly day and time. So perhaps something on the weekend at a time that is feasible. So there we go. See ya.